This week's Cartejo is about the future, and this is unusual because most of the time we talk about things that happened in the past. This week we're going to talk about artificial intelligence and how it could quite possibly change the future of expertise. This is a photograph of the late period Guarneri del Gesù, known as the Le Duc. This is also the Le Duc, but in an earlier photograph. It's easy for humans to see that the two violins are the same, even though one image is in color and the other is black and white. Subconsciously, our eye matches the outline, the grain, the flame. We see blemishes and wear patterns and other marks in the wood, and we can quickly determine, yes, this is the same instrument. But how do we teach a computer to see that these two instruments are indeed the same? Consider this analogy. Everyone has unique fingerprints. No two fingerprints are the same. And using software, computers can map and measure a person's fingerprints and store this information in a database. And most importantly, a computer can compare two fingerprints and tell us if they match. So why can't we do the same with violins? Well, maybe we can. Now, we're not quite there yet, but this isn't as futuristic as it may sound. We've already trained a computer to recognize the different parts of a violin, the head, the sound holes, the back, the belly, and we've trained a computer to tell us if a back is in one piece or two and to predict the orientation of the flame. But the next step is even more interesting. Here's what we're working on. There are over 200,000 images in the Cozio archive, and we're creating software which will catalog the visual attributes of each instrument. This means that the software creates a map of the flame patterns, recording the location, length, width, and angle of each flame, and storing this information in an index. Once the computer has recorded this data, it can compare an instrument against the entire Cozio database and tell us if that violin already exists in the archive. This will never replace expertise, but it's going to be a very useful tool in the 21st century experts toolkit. And there it is, the Leduc Guarneri, or at least how a computer would see it.